Well, hey guys, welcome back to the shop. <clears throat> Today's the day. We're taking this little S10 blazer over here and cross your fingers. I can get this thing through there and get some tags on this thing today. Got a nasty surprise yesterday. Went out there and was tinkering with it and the heater core was leaking like crazy just all of a sudden. So had to get that put in yesterday before I could go anymore today. And yeah, coat's back on, man. It's in the 30s now. Jesus, one day it's 60, 70 degrees. Next day it's 30 degrees. All right, let's hit the road and uh, see what happens. We made it. Oh look, there's no line. Oh my goodness. This might not take me two or three hours a day. All right, hang on, let me get through this thing. Wish me luck, man. Only got three cars in front of me, hang on. All right, didn't pass. Let's turn it around here and see exactly what's going on. All right, we're still down, dealing with them carbon monoxide, man. This is this time. See the numbers? Carbon monoxide. All right, 498. There's what it was the last time. 336. Before that, it was way up there, too. So we're going to choke this thing down some more. Take it back through. All right. She's choked down so much now, you have to drive it with two feet. If you pull her in drive, she dies. Um, well, let's go back through. Um, that don't work. I guess it's going back home because I can't adjust it down no more. So we're going to have to find out why it's still flooding out a little bit inside that carburetor. Alright. Pass number two. Now, instead of the carbon monoxide being up, the hydrocarbons are up. And I'll tighten her down a quarter of a turn. So what do you say we open her up about an eighth of a turn? and uh, see what happens right there. It's kind of strange how the carbon monoxide went almost nothing. Now the hydro hydrocarbons up. Usually when the carbon monoxide is low, the hydrocarbon stays put. All right, let me open her up just a hair and see what happens. All right, so I had her sitting at three quarters, talking about the automaster screws. I had her sitting at three quarters of a turn. And then that was the first test where the carbon monoxide was high. So then I tightened it down to um, five eighths of a turn. Now I'm back up at, uh oh, I think I went too far. Now I'm back at three quarters. Hmm. Maybe I need to go out there and tighten it down well. Hmm. I don't know, man. She's barely running. Yeah. Let's run it through like this, see what happens. Just another nine dollars.
All right, guys, we made it back home. Anybody want to take a guess of what happened? Just five seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, I'll forget it. We passed. Holy crap, that was an experience. But, hey, um, I got tags. Um, may have lost y'all a little bit when I was talking about Justin the stuff because I was getting frustrated. Uh, so hang on, let's take another look at this real quick and then I'll get off here and leave y'all alone. All right, so first pass, this one right here, when we went through the first time. Our hydrocarbons was at 154 and our carbon monoxide was at 498, right? This is the idle adjuster screws down to uh, three quarters of a turn instead of inch and a quarter, you know, three quarters of a turn. So then I was like, well, crap. So I pulled off to the side, well, over in the parking lot, and I adjusted it down, adjusted them down another eighth of a turn, drove it back through. Then, I don't understand that one, the carbon monoxide went to almost nothing. And then the uh, hydrocarbons jumped, look how big they jumped, just from that little eighth of a turn, right? So I was fixing to come back home and I thought, well, Another nine dollars, what can it hurt? So then when I had it turned down to five eighths, I was like, well, so I opened them up just a, a sixteenth of a turn. So this is sitting at nine sixteenths of a turn. And we got hydrocarbons at 72 parts per million, that's what it is. And the carbon monoxides were down at 19, right? Uh yeah. That thing run like crap. I'm telling you, the two, it was a two-foot drive. Um, I'm not sure what I did worked. Um, the little girl was testing it, and the guy, I kept going through the same lane, so dealing with the same people, right? Uh, they both made a statement when I pulled in there. That's a nice-looking little car, you know. And I said, well, it ought to be. It's freaking brand new, you know. Of course, it was dirty. So that last time I went through there, I said, well, you know, it's me again. And that little girl looked at me and I said, I'll be back in here. I'll stay here all day if I have to. Um, Cause you know, every two, every two tests is $9. But anyway, that's the side of the point. So I'm not sure <laughs> that last time around, she didn't start kind of feeling a little sorry for me. Maybe not have put that probe exactly where it goes. Because uh, she spent a little time back there sticking that probe in where she didn't before. Um, but anyway, that's it. Got tags, passed emissions. Uh, it still ain't exactly right. I, I got home, readjusted it back like it worked with ruin. Uh, there's just no torque on that little, I, I know it's that cam, but there's no torque on that thing. I got to figure out some way to alleviate that, even if it is changing gears. And we got some rear springs, and there was a transmission issue, uh, which is one weekend. The kit's like a, what is it? It's a Transgo SK700 Junior B, and all it does is keep fourth gear from falling out, right? Because it, it, when you're going down the road, it'll... When you're about 75 mile an hour, man, and you go steady for just a little bit, that thing will drop in third. And then you gotta let off the gas and all that, and then all of a sudden it'll kick back in fourth and it'll go again for a little while. And one of them kind of things. So we're not done with the little S10, but I can drive the darn thing. Yes, I'm happy, I'm ecstatic. Uh, if I was a little younger, I'd be jumping up and down and screaming, but you know. I wouldn't be acting right that wouldn't be acting my age if I'd done that. <laughs> right? But I'm a happy camper. Uh we'll back come back and revisit this thing in a few weeks. Uh try to figure out some other stuff that needs, you know, that needs to be tuned up a little bit on it. And hopefully that'll do it. Uh with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all watching along on this and trying to help out where you could. Uh a couple of I mean a few of you did help. I mean, I was I just wasn't thinking straight. I was so frustrated with the thing. I appreciate y'all. Uh, with that, I'll get off here. I hope y'all having a good day, good night. Hope things are going good in your world, good in your life, and things are treating you right because things are finally turning around for me, I hope. 
Uh, now I got to sit here. I got to get back to work, man. I got people calling left and right wanting stuff. I, I got to go. Y'all take care. We'll see you on the next one.